our story unfolds in the expansive realm of Roblox, where I, a curious noob, embarked on a quest to explore the digital wonderland and make new friends. Wow, this place is amazing! Indeed, it's a virtual paradise. Little did they know that destiny had orchestrated this encounter. As our avatars spent more time together in the enchanting world of Roblox, their connection deepened. They found themselves not just gaming buddies but confidants, sharing their dreams, secrets, and virtual adventures. You know, I've been playing Roblox for years, but I've never met anyone as awesome as you. Likewise, it's like we were destined to meet in this digital paradise. They explored countless virtual realms together, from epic battles in Sword Fighter's Quest to solving intricate puzzles in Mystic Maze. In each game, their avatars stood side by side, facing challenges and celebrating victories. I've got your back in this game, just like I've got your back in real life. Well, virtual real life. Haha, <laughs> you are the best. They shared laughter echoed through the virtual world, and it wasn't long before their virtual beach rendezvous became a regular occurrence. They watched sunsets together, built sandcastles, and even hosted their own virtual beach parties, inviting other players to join the fun. Hey, look at this sandcastle I made for you. It's amazing. You've got some serious sandcastle building skills. Their avatars' bond grew stronger with each passing day, and as they laughed and shared stories, they realized that this connection was something truly special. You know, I've met a lot of avatars in Roblox, but none of them have made me feel the way you do. I feel the same way. It's like we were meant to be from the moment we met. And so, their love story on Roblox continued to unfold, with each adventure bringing them closer together. Little did they know that their virtual journey was about to take an unexpected turn, leading them into a realm of challenges, laughter, and even a touch of jealousy. Hey, guys, mind if I join you? Of course not. Jake, join the fun. Little did they know that beneath Jake's friendly facade lurked a well-kept secret, an unspoken affection for gaming elf's girlfriend. Hey Donnie, you're the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Thanks, Jake, but I'm really enjoying my time with gaming. Elf. Jake's presence didn't go unnoticed. He was determined to capture her attention, resorting to flamboyant gestures and relentless compliments. His attempts to win her over were almost comical. Watch me do this epic dive off the pier. Impressive, Jake, but Donnie and I were about to explore the underwater caves together. Jake's jealousy began to shine through, casting a shadow over there previously harmonious virtual world. He was willing to go to great lengths to impress gaming elf's girlfriend and steal her away. I can juggle flaming torches while riding a unicycle. Watch this. That's quite a show, Jake. But I'm really having fun with gaming elf right now. Despite Jake's dramatic attempts to undermine their bond, they were unfazed. They continued to share laughter, inside jokes, and their connection deepened. They decided to turn the tables, transforming Jake's jealousy into a whimsical game. They engaged in a friendly competition, attempting to outdo each other with the most outlandish pickup lines. Is your name jealous, Jake? Because you're always on my mind. Are you a computer? Because you've got my heart running at 60 frames per second. It wasn't long before Jake realized that his jealousy was only pushing them closer together instead of driving them apart. You guys think this is funny, huh? Turning my jealousy into a joke. Come on, Jake. It's all in good fun. We're just playing around. Yeah, Jake. Don't take it too seriously. We love you. But Jake wasn't having it. His anger had simmered into a full-blown rage, and he seemed determined to make us understand just how much our little game had hurt him. Playing around, you'd have been flirting right in front of me, making me feel like an idiot. Well, you kind of are. Excuse me. He did not mean it, Jake. Jake, we're sorry if it went too far, but we promise it was all just for fun. We didn't mean to hurt you. Yeah, Jake. We love you and didn't want to upset you. Jake's avatar clenched its fists, and his typing grew more furious. You love me. If you love me, you wouldn't be doing this. Well, she said love. I did not. Stop it, elf. What I'm just saying. Stop it, you can see. Your words are hurting him. Whose side are you on anyway? I'm on. Because it seems like you're on his. The virtual beach, once filled with laughter now felt charged with tension. Jake's anger seemed to reverberate through the virtual world, and their avatars stood at a virtual crossroads, uncertain of how to proceed, until finally. Jake, I need you to listen. What you're feeling right now, it's not our fault. Your jealousy, it's your own emotion. 
your own insecurity. We care about you deeply, and we want to be there for you. But we can't bear the sole responsibility for managing your jealousy. Despite our sincere attempts to reach Jake, it became increasingly apparent that he was not receptive to our words. Jake, please say something. We want to work this out together. Jake, your silence isn't helping. We need to communicate if we're going to find a solution. But Jake just stood there. No one could tell what he was thinking. But he uttered one word. And one word only. Okay. Okay? What do you mean? This was yet frightening and confusing. For when a man is pushed to his limit, that is the last word you want to hear. Get it together, Jake. This is not our fault. You came at my girl, giving her compliments. When you know she has a man, it's disrespectful. And yet I still apologize to you. Get a grip. He stood silent once again. Maybe he was thinking. Maybe he was. Yeah, you're right. Pretty selfish of me. Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. They could not believe it. Jake actually saying sorry. For once, it was like a miracle had come true. Oh, uh, it's okay. I'm just glad we got over this. Yes, I'm glad too. We can all be friends. Yes, friends. All right, well, me and Donnie have to go. We have our date and we can't be late. Oh, right, I forgot about that. No worries, guys, shave fun. Okay, bye. Bye. Haha, that fool. I'm going to get this girl one way or another. I just had to trick them for the time being, but I will get Donnie. Yes, Jake played them. He is still secretly angry and wants his payback and is determined to get it no matter what. However, we will save that for another day. Let's not let that ruin their date. Narrator out.